Next up, we have a bit of an odd operator in JavaScript called type of. We use type of in some situations to determine the type of a given value. We simply write type of, which always has driven me crazy that it's not camel case like everything else in JavaScript. It's type of like this, and then a space, and then we specify a value like 99, and it gives us a string containing the type, like a name of the type, number. If I do type of true, we get boolean. If I have a variable, we'll call it mystery, and close your eyes, yeah, you don't have to close your eyes, but let's say this is our mystery. I'll clear the console. If I do type of mystery, it tells us it's a string. Yes, it contains a number at the beginning, but that doesn't matter. It's in quotes, so it's a string. Type of with undefined will give us undefined. Here's a really odd part of JavaScript. If you do type of null, it tells you object. This is allegedly a mistake, a weird quirk that has worked its way into the language over time. So more of a, a piece of trivia, I guess, than something you need to look out for. Type of often confuses people because they think you need to use parentheses like you do for console.log or for what else have we seen, math.random, or these different actions where you pass a value in and you use parentheses to execute it. But type of is actually an operator just like the plus sign is. We don't do plus sign with parentheses or, or minus sign or equal sign. That's an operator. When we say const x equals three, we don't use parens. Type of is very similar. It's also an operator. It just has one side. So unlike the plus sign where we have two sides, a left and a right, with type of, we just type of a value. And that's it. So not much to it. I just wanted to show it to you because sometimes it's useful. Once we get to writing functions in particular, if you want to check that a user did indeed pass in a number or a function has been called with a number and not a string, then you can use type of.